Chinese beer. Eating hot pot in China is more of like a traditional way of eating. How this is done is that all of the things you're seeing here will be cooked in the hot pot. That's what makes it a hot pot, okay? In Chinese it's called for guo. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? I can't do it. My body can't do it. English is hot pot. <laughs> First of all, thank you to the members of the George Vlogs family. We are now at 50 subscribers. Yeah! Whoa, I'm so happy. So right now, let me explain to you how I got to meet this amazing, wonderful family right here on the table, all right? So um, listen attentively. The person on my right is my friend, my brother. I call him Germa. Germa in Chinese is like saying big brother. So I call him like Daga. Later, I'll be sharing the videos I made when I went to his village. Remember, right now, as you're watching, he said that um, they're all from the same place. I went there and stayed about a month or two with them. So, you're gonna be seeing my life over there in the village. So, opposite him is his daughter, and on the right hand of the daughter, the man you see looking at me, Stanley, is his father, okay? So, the rest you see there, aside these three people now, are our important guests. But my English friend over there, the one with the white um, long sleeve shirt, is the one that runs um, the company I work in, alright? So, I really work with them a whole lot um, as a content creator, alright? So, what I'm doing here on YouTube is not different from what I do in reality. So that's why most times I pay attention to my videos and make sure it's a little bit entertaining, educative and a little bit inspiring also at the same time. So I want to say please, if you're watching me for the first time, hit the subscribe button because you help me grow on this channel, right? I had a channel before which I still do have right now, Be Real George, but I decided to start this channel mainly to focus on just creating content around my life here in China. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> While we eat, let me share with you some Chinese table manners. Now, as usual, the number one rule for understanding Chinese table manners in a formal setting is to simply relax, observe, and mimic someone who knows more than you. Of course, your host will understand your nervousness and they will also do their best to help you prevent any act of loose face or what I say, it's called, you know, being shy or maybe feeling embarrassed, alright? So be very, very watchful all right <laughs> for me i've eaten a lot of times with them so i'm used to a couple of things now where to sit the chair facing the entrance or the east if possible is known as the command seat of course like you heard me say the person that is wearing the white t-shirt is more of like the leader around there even though he's not the oldest all right the oldest person you see there is the father of my friend but he is taking more of like the command seat because the seat he's sitting in is facing the entrance which is just behind the person sitting on my left sitting there without being offered the seat of honor is cheeky so better for you to wait for your host to indicate where you'll be sitting and also the command seat is usually reserved for the person with the highest status as demanded by age, social standing or occupation. So in this case, we didn't really follow the rule that much because by age, my friend's father should be sitting there. Now sometimes the guest of honor may ask you to sit at that particular spot. Don't turn it down if the seat is offered to you. Now in a formal setting, the closer that people are seated to the person of higher status, the higher their rank. 
but don't covet the bigger chair too much. The highest ranking person is usually expected to cover the check. So in this case, we ourselves, no one is, you know, it's not as if you are eating out. All of us, we are eating in the company. So we just went outside, bought everything, brought it together, and then we are eating, all right? So now, in getting started, the head of the table, or the person that sits at the head of the table, there is a general rule of thumb that you shouldn't sit or begin eating or anything else before they do first, all right? So the person that should start eating first is the person that is at the head of the seat, the person on the white t-shirt. Now, allow the eldest or highest ranking person at the table to lift their chopsticks first before you even touch yours so if you happen to be the guest of honor others around the table may be waiting for you to begin <laughs> of course remember when he started i told you guys that we had guests all right so i'm just telling you this so you get to understand in case you ever need to have a meal with a chinese person now you usually won't see a communal bowl or white rice on the table rice is often served in small individual bowls so, let me summarize the tips here for you so you get to know. So now, tips for good Chinese table manners. Now, one is show respect to others, keep your smartphone silent, off the table and out of your hand. Now, if you're provided a cloth napkin, tuck the corner under your plate so that it hangs on your lap. Alright? So when taking a break, leave your chopsticks on the side of your plate or bowl. You may lift your rice bowl to the mouth level with one hand and use chopsticks to put the rice in your mouth. Doing so is perfectly acceptable. The same applies to soups you can sip directly from the bowl. If invited to someone's home for a family style meal, serving utensils might not be present. So turn your chopsticks around when moving food from communal bowls to your own plate. So one last tip for you. Um, you will see me drinking now with them. If you are eating with Chinese people, uh, I think it's really important that you don't it's not really normal that you just put the drink in your cup and drink, all right? So there's something we call, uh, you know, sharing with the people, ting in many bays. So you see me do that here. When you are eating on the table with them, um, when you want to drink, you don't just drink alone, but you drink with someone. So you, you might just call someone to be like, oh, let's have a drink together. And then you share. So that's what I'm going to be doing here now. And Now, and thanks for watching. There are a couple of other views that I'll be linking at the end of the video, so click on them so you get to enjoy them right here on the channel. And remember, you're watching George Vlogs, and it's so good to have you right here. I'm working on another video right now, so you might want to subscribe so you don't get to miss my future amazing videos. Thanks for being here, and I love you. Bye bye.